There are two words that will strike fear into anyone who has a bed. They are a pain to deal with and they can take a very long time to get rid of as well. What's up world, it's Tony, the Sleep Accessories Editor for Mattress Clarity. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to identify early signs of bed bugs, what you can do to help mitigate the problem, and more, so stick around. You can also read more about this problem in an in-depth article at mattressclarity.com, as well as some reviews for bedding, pillows, and mattresses. Let's get started. Before I get too far into this video, I do want to point out this is for educational purposes only. If you do have a bed bug infestation, please contact your local pest control because they are the professionals and therefore equipped to handle removing the infestation. So with that disclaimer out of the way, here are three major early signs you can look out for to see if you have bed bugs. First and foremost, bites. There is truth to the saying, don't let the bed bugs bite because they have to eat and unfortunately you are the main course. Now there are tons of bugs that can hide in your bed and bite you throughout the night, but one way to tell if it's bed bugs is if the bites are in a line on your skin because they will move across your skin as they bite you. The second sign to look out for are stains in your bed sheets. This can happen for a few different reasons. The first being it's blood from your skin that hadn't fully dried after you were bitten and it transferred to your sheets. The other is if you toss and turn like I do, you may crush a bug while doing so. So that's just where it comes from. And as the infestation grows, these stains will become more prominent as it becomes a mix of blood, crushed bugs, and bug droppings. The final sign to look out for if you think you have bed bugs is an unexplained smell. You'll start to notice a rather unpleasant odor around your bed or your bedroom as the infestation grows. And this is just a mix of the pheromones from the bugs, blood drying on your sheets, and of course, just dead bugs within your sheets. So if you have a smell and you can't identify the source, chances are it might be bed bugs. Now, unfortunately, the one thing that will absolutely confirm you have a bed bug infestation is seeing one skitter across your sheets. And again, if that happens, please contact your pest control. So you've identified that you have an infestation, you've called pest control, and unfortunately they can't be there the same day. Here are some tips and tricks you can do to help mitigate the spread of the infestation before the pros arrive. Number one is to fully inspect your mattress or your room for the source of the infestation. Bed bugs love to hide, so be sure to examine every nook and cranny in your mattress or your room to find where they are. It can be either in your mattress itself, a box spring if you have one, or a frame if it has places to hide. The next step is to strip your bedding from your bed and place it into plastic containers or plastic bags to separate the bugs that are hiding in your bedding from the mattress. From there, you'll launder everything on the highest heat setting you have in your washing machine because heat is the most effective tool you have to kill the bugs that are hiding in your sheets. The last tip I have is investing in a mattress encasement. This will cover your entire mattress and trap the bed bugs inside and separate them from you, which as I said, you are their food source. Now, unfortunately, mattress encasements are a bit of a long-term investment because depending on the size of the infestation and how many bugs you have in your bed, it could take a very long time to completely starve them out. Now you've confirmed you have a bed bug problem and you may be thinking to yourself, how the heck did I get bed bugs? After all, they don't just appear out of thin air. One thing to note is that bed bugs are hitchhikers. So think if you've traveled recently because you might have picked them up from your hotel room. Now bed bugs are a nationwide problem and they plague hotels more often than you might think. So if you're especially worried about picking up bed bugs from traveling, be sure to thoroughly inspect your room before settling in. So if you do have travel plans on the horizon, here are some cities to be cautious of because they've had higher reports than others. These cities include New York City, Baltimore, Cleveland, and Chicago. And in a more broader sense, some states to be cautious of are California, Florida, Maryland, and New Jersey. 
Well, there you have it, some tips and tricks on how to identify and handle bed bugs in your room, as well as some travel destinations to be aware of if you're traveling soon. You can find more in-depth information about bed bugs and how to handle them at mattressclarity.com, as well as some reviews on pillows, bedding, and mattresses, as well as some money-saving coupons too. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.